time you tried Hilla Beans Decaf, because coffee without the caffeine is like sex without the costumes. And remember, Happy Time Pure Sucrose Breakfast Cereal gives you that large tumor-like growth on the wall of your stomach, but the cleaner, brighter, fluffier sheets. Tonight's episode, The Clan. Have you ever seen anything so white? The All Sports Network. The All News Network. The All Potato Cakes Network. The Ms. Mad Buddy Comedy Network. The Roadkill Identification Network. The Let's Talk in Pig Latin Network. The Skin Disease Network. The Vacuum Cleaner Bank. Wow! Do I have to sit here all day uh, looking for something to watch? Nope, nope, yeah, uh-uh, no way, negatory, not, never, nope, uh-uh, cannel, are you kidding, forget it, uh-uh, Bochco, nope, uh-uh, no thanks, Miller Boy, yet. nope, no chance, nada! Where are the quality shows? The shows that stimulate your mind, that enrich the human condition. Ah, gunfire. For those of you who have just tuned in to tonight's episode of Crazed Postal Worker, this week's disgruntled former employee turned homicidal gunman is holding his hostages behind the stamps only window. Talk about your entertainment. And no family around to hog the TV. That's right, our organization is pre need. We're teaching people to make ceramic ashtrays with their teeth in case they become handicapped. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Mr. President. I'd love to talk more about you and the First Lady getting involved, but my favorite show's about to begin. Five more minutes, and we'll have a formula for putting all the nutritional elements a child will ever need into a chocolate ho ho. But that would mean missing a show. Uh oh. Yet again, I've loaded Aunt Bernice's priceless Ming Dynasty china in the trash compactor. Time for the show. I'll let Dodd take the blame. An unwitting woman has come into the post office with her mail. Obviously, none of us wants bloodshed, but warning her would violate our code of ethics about media intrusion. Let's watch. Lady, you forgot to use the nine-digit zip code. Mother Mirabelle's Home Miracle Network. <laughs> was watching that? Shh. Thank you, thank you. I'm Mother Mirabelle, and welcome to the Home Miracle Network. <laughs> Having trouble <laughs> breathing. Shh. I'd like to start the day by sharing a little miracle of my own. We were number one in our time slot again last week with that most important of them all demographic group. People with disposable income. Passing out soon. Well, well, will you look at all the bleepers I have with me today? Oh, oh, did you have a miracle to share with us, sir? I contacted my dead mother using dominoes and a pair of pliers. It's a miracle! Oh, ow. Ow. I had fleas and ticks, but I bathed in low-fat milk, and now I only have ticks. It's a miracle! I finished the TV Guide crossword puzzle for the first time in my life! It's a miracle! Oh, miracles indeed! And now, before we bring out our celebrity guest who'll praise me and my show for a small fee, it's time to gaze upon our holy shrine, the miracle that makes all our miracles happen, that preternatural portrait, that possessed peace dart, that painting from the promised land! <laughs> of the weeping souls. <gasps> Holy sh! The painting's been stolen. It's gone. Someone took it. That's sacrilege. What's on the other channel? Duckman! <sighs> You're a detective. You help her find the painting. Sure. When my butt starts singing show tunes. You have to, Dodd. It really causes miracles. It's the painting of the Blessed Mother of the Weeping Souls. The one where the feet actually perspire. It's worshipped by hundreds of people in this cable district. Duckman, your children are pleading for your help. Besides, it's not like you're ever busy working on other cases. 
Dot's a detective? Forget it! I'm not gonna lower myself by helping some pandering preacher find her bogus painting. This whole thing's just one big scam, cooked up by an obvious phony who'll do anything to make a buck. She says she'll pay handsomely for its return. Don't wait up! <laughs> Look at these people, Corny. They're being led around like a bunch of sheep. Interesting how the need for substance in an unexamined life oftentimes breeds gullibility. Exactly. Ah! It's Elvis! We're back. And we're sorry to report that miracles seem to be in short supply since the fountainhead of all our miracles was stolen. But the blessed mother of the weeping souls has spoken to me in a vision. Yes! And she said unto me, Mirabelle, even though I'm gone, I want you to carry on because your believers need you, because the world needs you, because this month is sweeps. Amen. Sir, you're a believer. Even with the Blessed Mother gone, surely you have a miracle to share. Oh, me? Oh, gosh, I, I ran into my old girlfriend last week. Well, that was more of a coincidence, really. Actually, I was <coughs> stalking her. Oh. You, man! You believer, tell me a miracle. Oh, well, I, uh, I was driving this morning and I hit a green light, and then I hit a red one, or maybe it was the other way around. Oh. People, maybe it's not as easy as I'd hoped. We do need that painting back. Perhaps you can help. Perhaps a small donation can get us started. Take mine. Me first. Take mine. Me first. Take mine. Me first. Take mine. Forget Mother Mirabelle, this crowd needs Father Thorazine. What the hell are you staring at? What about you? You seem to have something to share. Me? Uh, yeah. I do have something to share. Duckman, didn't you schedule a colonic this afternoon? In fact, I have a miracle to share. It's a miracle you moon eyed zombies fall for this Mother Mirabelle! She's a fake! She's taking your money! She's a bigger ripoff than those talk to a nympho in prison hotlines that double charge you on your phone bill when they know you can't do a thing about it because you can't tell anyone you ever called it in the first place. <laughs> so, so I've heard. Look, I for one am glad that Peyton's gone. Now maybe you can spend your time believing in something that really matters, like your horoscope. Well, we're certainly tolerant of all points of view. Make a move in your dead meat. Does wetting myself count as moving? Well, since you are a detective, and I do have something to find, I accept your apology. How much do you charge? Well, um, in order to find out who took it, uh, we'll need to set up round-the-clock surveillance, high-powered telescopes, a parabolic mic, catered meals, four buxom assistants, a VCR and a big screen TV, a barca lounger, the complete Russ Meyer videos, a two-year subscription to the sports betting tip sheet. All told, it comes to a daily rate of four hundred dollars and uh, seventeen cents. I'll give you twenty bucks. That was my fallback offer. What about the thousands of dollars you just collected from those people out there? This imported Italian marble doesn't grow on trees! No! The, the painting isn't the most important thing in the world to me. It is. And I'm sure whoever committed such a dastardly crime must be some kind of ruthless killer who might very well chop off your heads and put them on a stick! Not to worry. We eat fear for breakfast. You're guessing about the stick part, right? Tell me again why we're doing this. When I inspected the wall where the painting used to hang, I caught a whiff of eau de carpe. It's a cologne so foul it's worn by only one man, a man who happens to be the world's greatest art collector, Big Dada Duchamp. My guess is if we go undercover at his art gallery, we'll find the miracle painting. Miracle schmiracle. I'll bet those mindless pod people who believe in that thing still wait up for the tooth fairy. What? Because he's rotting in a Turkish jail. Will you hurry up with those disguises? Four of those mindless pod people are my family. Okay, Mr. Duckman, but may I say I don't think you should just dismiss the notions of miracles. It's a miracle every time a new leaf grows, every time a newborn baby cries. Every time you shut up and do what I tell you. Now turn me into one of those art world freakos or you're next. <laughs> when you're in a hurry. <laughs> Nope. Uh -uh. 
Who's this supposed to be? I'm guessing, but I think it's a highly misunderstood painter whose rhythmic linear brush strokes were an arrogant break from the old masters and who was so desperate for a unique artistic identity that he was trapped in a hellish downward spiral of hostility, madness, and self-mutilation. Well, the beard's cool. Let's do it. What about your disguise? Whoa! Who are you supposed to be? Your agent. All right, let's mingle, Corny. Keep your eye out for Duchamp, and remember, stay in character. Mmm, boy, just smell that art. Yes, sirree, this is just the break I needed after a long day of making art and being insane. Well, this guy's is working, Cornfin. What's he doing with that pink stuff? That's Crisco. He's our greatest rap artist. Hmm. All right, Duchamp doesn't seem to be out here. We gotta find his office. Remember, take it slow. You can't just barge through his door. My, my, could I possibly be in the presence of such a great artist? Ha <laughs> ha! I'm Duckman! I was only pretending to be an artist! Ah, an impressionist. <laughs> Do I smell fish? What you! I'm Mother of the Weeping Souls! All right, I've come for the girly picture, art boy. Don't try anything stupid or one of us won't leave here alive. <laughs> I, I said one of us. I was, I was thinking you. I don't know how he tracked it down, but he won't tell anyone now. What the woo? This can't be what I think it is. This will be your greatest work ever, Crisco. And the critics say art is dead. I don't know art, but I know what I liked. Breathing! Ah! I can't believe this. I'm actually dead. Plucked from the prime of life. So many things I wanted to do. Climb the world's highest mountain, swim a few channels, invent something that benefits mankind. Oh well, more time to sleep in. Jeez, I, I didn't even get to say goodbye to my family. Well, at least I'm going up. That's a good sign. Ah! Wait, fellas, you got the wrong guy. I've always supported the senseless killing of people for the dead of shoes. Wow! Step into the light. Step out of the light. Put your left foot in. Take your left foot out. Put your left foot in and shake it all about. I know you're probably thinking what a gross misuse of power. Well, you want to make something of it? <laughs> Just follow the light. Wait a minute. I know this place. The booming voice, the billowy clouds, the pearly gates, the harp music. Give me another clue. It's heaven! I have your file here. Ah. We've tried to provide you with everything you ever wanted in your life. Ah. Can I have to throw an axe, sir? Banzai! Wait a minute. There's been a mistake in your file. You're not supposed to be here. What? I knew it! I knew it was too good to be true! I mean, I haven't exactly been a poster boy for religion. Me and Teresa de Lorenzo in the confessional, painting the mustache on that statue of the Vatican. Of course, that one wasn't my fault! I was drunk! All right, fine! That's just fine! Go ahead and send me to eternal damnation. I'd rather laugh with the sinners than cry with the saints any day, buster! What I meant was, you're not supposed to be dead yet. I'm sending you back. Oh, thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Uh, by the way, I was... I was kidding about that Vatican thing. While I have you here, Duckman, I want to give you something to take back down. What is it? Cash? Next year's Super Bowl results? Hey, how about a picture? Me, you, a few dead celebrities? It's something I give everyone who comes here. You're just one of the lucky few who get to leave with it. It's the ultimate answer to the ultimate question. It's the meaning of life. Oh, no chance at the picture, huh? An etch a sketch? Don't get me wrong, I'd love to know the meaning of life, but uh, how am I supposed to get it from this? You could have read it until you shook it off. Can't you put it back? Sorry, I'm extremely busy. I promised Cleveland they'd win the pennant. Wait! Could you stamp my hand so I could get back in? Plum it safe. <laughs> oh. I highly recommend the pina colada. You boy! I think I put out a few. Ugh.
Well, look who's up. Forget it, boys. He pulled through. Oh. Try Mrs. Gleaner in 208. She was hacking up a storm this morning. Used organs. Booming market. I'm alive. I can't believe it. I went to heaven. I met God. He bought me a drink. I actually experienced a miracle. That's impossible. I'm a highly trained professional. Don't you think I'd notice if one of my patients died? You don't believe me, huh? Then what do you call this? Gift from a cheap relative. It's an Etch-a-Sketch. The meaning of life was written on this. I'm out of here. I'm going home to tell my family they were right. I really met him. And from this day forward, I'm a changed ducky. What the hell's that beeping? Bernice, Ajax, twins! I, Duckman, have experienced a miracle! <gasps> I know! It sounds incredible, but you were right and I was wrong. Miracles do exist! Now I've seen everything. I want to shout it out! I want the whole world to know what I know! Do it! Pour it on! But for now, it's enough to share my incredible experience with my loving family. The coagula sauce really is thicker. You're right! No need to convert the converted. I gotta go out and tell my story to those poor, unenlightened people who aren't yet lucky enough to believe. That reminds me, the painting's still gone. Has anyone seen your father? Uh-uh, me neither. This is great. I've never had such a sense of purpose, doing what all the great religious leaders have done since time immemorial. Excuse me. I'm the prophet, Duckman. I'm here to spread... <laughs> Have a nice day. Hello, my child. I... Wow! Brother, if I could... Mm, cute little baby. <laughs> well, it can only get better. Laddie! I'm doing something wrong. I'm not getting through to people. How can I get people to listen to what I have to say? We'll return to Mother Mirabelle and her very special guests after a few more words than necessary from our sponsor. Welcome back. We have a treat for you today. Assembled in the same room for the first time in history, six of the world's foremost religious leaders. I told you they had low TV cues. Tonight's filler, until we find that painting, religious unity. And we'll start with the Roman numeral one himself, your holiness, given that all religions preach brotherhood, love of your fellow man, and tolerance for all people without exception. Why is it that the world's different religions have never been able to achieve unity? You got me. Good question. Yes, indeed. Well, wouldn't it be a miracle, not to mention a much-needed ratings boost, if we could achieve a first-ever religious unity right here on our stage tonight? Sure would. Indubitably. I'm willing to embrace religious unity if everyone else is. What do you say, Rabbi? Eh, why not? Sure, fine with me. Hey, guys, pyramid. Well, there you have it, folks. We've seen some big miracles on the Home Miracle Network, but this is no doubt the biggest. Listen, Mother Mirabel, I have a bigger miracle to tell you about. The biggest miracle of them all. I've been to the other side. Damn, it's the duck. I opened a bunch of bags. But at least I don't wear a diaper. Oh, yeah? Well, you can kiss my diaper. Nice from mouth a for a Zen master. Who died and made you die? Bite my alach mister. Please, can we all just get along? Oh. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourselves. All of you. You're supposed to be religious leaders. Religious, religious leaders? leaders? We're not religious leaders. We're religious impersonators. Mother Mirabel hired us as a change of pace while the painting was gone. I'm the real thing. I needed some good press in the States. Nice pyramid. Not a bad fight, either. Let's do it again sometime. They're all frauds. Mother Mirabel's a fraud. At least my miracle was real. I see you found my Etch-a-Sketch. What do you mean, your Etch-a-Sketch? <laughs> She engineered the theft to boost ratings when it was returned, then let us take the case so it would look like she was trying to find it. 
What do you mean, your wretch a sketch? I began to suspect her after fighting off Big Dada's gang and hijacking the truck that was taking you out of town. So I went to the police, took some pants in for alterations, then raced you to the hospital in the nick of time. What do you mean, your wretch a sketch? Perhaps I should tell you about my etch a sketch. Uh. You were out cold, so I played with it while I watched the news in your room. You didn't miss much. A fire, a drive-by, a segment on Silly String, a tornado, and reviews of the Rockettes in that new Hawaiian steak and colada restaurant that allows smoking. You can eat it in. You can take it out. Our steak sent galottas will make you scream and shout. That's my miracle. Are you saying that I didn't really have one? That I didn't go to heaven? That all those things happened because you were watching them on the news? And because of that pink plastic you were wrapped in. The pink plastic I was wrapped in? Polymethystyrene causes hallucinations. It causes hallucinations? Only for a while. Then it causes you to ask unnecessary questions. Unnecessary questions? Shut up. You want me to shut up? No way! Muhammad would definitely beat Moses a celebrity word scramble. Would not! Moses wrote the Torah! It has over 50,000 words! So what? They're all in Hebrew! Those words still look scrambled! Moses! Muhammad! Moses! Hey, it's that guy on TV. I made a fool of myself. Don't be upset, Duck Man. Lots of religious visionaries were misunderstood, persecuted, even publicly humiliated in their time. Of course, none of them went on live TV waving a magic at your sketch. <laughs> well, for one fleeting moment, I got to feel the way you get to feel. It felt nice to know that for sure someone was out there making incredible things happen. Someone was watching over us. Someone I could turn to at any moment of any day. I shouldn't have tried to take that away from you. Not that I'll ever get sucked in again. I'm back. And let me tell you, it'll be a cold day in Hawaii before I just accept the fact that there's anything out there that has that much power over our lives, that we should let control everything we say and do, that we should worship 24 hours a day. <laughs> hey, look, there's a tiger explosion on America's most tragic home videos. I see, they're saying television is worshipped like a religion. I hate message shows.